Hey, it's, uh... Hi, it's Yonash again with another electronics adjunct related video. I'm trying to use vocabulary words. Got a lapel mic that I've had for years. Actually, I just didn't use it. Today, we'll be looking at... We're gonna be looking at this desktop computer, but mostly just to replace the CPU in it. All right. All right, first up, let's take off this panel. I wasn't the one to actually build this PC, so it's gonna be some guesswork for me. So what am I doing here? Okay, I'm gonna phone a friend. Okay, phoning a friend did not work because he was busy. Kind of rudely busy, but whatever. So we're gonna start with staring inside and trying to figure it out from there. Okay, let's start with unplugging some stuff. So far, nothing broken. This break. Where's it supposed to be broken? Let's get these screws over here. Do do. Actually, no. I don't. I shouldn't have to remove this, right? Ay, ay, ay. Oh, this moves now. So can I? Does that mean I can pull it out? Oh! Is this gonna be hard to remove? Maybe we don't have to take out the CPU. Maybe I can just take off the cooler. Uh-huh. I just don't want you scratching the rest of it, you know what I'm saying? Can I rest you on top of here? That seems precarious. Oh, I love precariousness. So I'm hoping that didn't do any damage. Maybe I should just softly place it somewhere. Magnet grabby tool. At this moment, I realize how painfully unprepared I was to do this. The safest option is to remove everything. I just don't want to go through that effort. This little clip needs to come under and out. All right, let's remove the old thermal paste from this heat sink. Gently take out the CPU. The replacement is a i7-4790K. Very nice. Got my Arctic Silver 5. That looks really ugly. I guess I should have put this clip on first, but whatever. This can go back so it fits in the screw. And bent over. Finally got it slightly threaded on there. I just pressed it down a bit to spread it. Let's get to tightening. How about we say that's on? Having plugged in the power and the HDMI, let's see if it turns on. Oh, the power switch on the back is on the off position and that sounds like it's turning on. Hey! <laughs> okay, it was on the source that the Apple TV was connected to, so I was a little confused. Please enter setup to configure the system. So I have to connect a keyboard. So does this run now? Shouldn't I boot it? Okay, okay, okay. Let's check performance, CPU, and you can see now. All right, last thing I'm gonna do, I installed Cinebench because of Linus. So let's see how this compares to my old CPU. Well, that works. Let's clean up this old CPU. I guess like this. <laughs> 